Thank you for watching today. This is Kinnear. Welcome back to another Starfield New Game Plus video. In this Crimson Fleet quest, we're headed to a secret UC military base, SY920, to steal tech. That technology, the comm spike, reduces the time to lock on enemy ships, reduces weapon use costs in targeting mode. It's one of two items we need to collect before we can go after the treasure called Crix's Legacy. So let's get started. Yeah, so we've got to go over to Key real quickly and get this mission picked up and listen to the dialogue and get it started. We need to find Jazz and Neva, who should be in her shop. All right, Jazz, what do you got? According to the latest, the Secret United Colonies Military Star Station. Location undisclosed. Fantastic. So how do we disclose it? We could lean on your smuggling contact. Call in that favor. You know who I mean. Our friend on Jimson. Nice one, Jazz. I'll make the arrangements. We'll have the whole settled system. Yeah, yeah. Tell me who my contact is. All right, Rook. Next stop, New Atlantis. Your connection is Juan Dayu. She's got most of the premium UC smuggling routes locked down tight. If you don't piss her off, she should be able to sneak you past SY920's security. Just remember to count your fingers after you shake hands with her. We're old friends. Well, we were in a different universe. We'll take the Starborn option. Really? Last news to me, bro. You two have a working relationship all the better. Once Juan gets you past the guard dogs, it's gonna be on you to locate the site. According to the data we have, it's in a prototype phase, meaning there should only be a single device. Once basically, you break it, you bought it. Hmm, interesting. Well, don't take any chances. Name is right. Just grab everything labeled conspite that isn't nailed down. Oh, and one more thing. SY920 is a UC military installation. That means if you intend to turn the place... Yeah, yeah, we're not gonna go in and shoot everybody up. Okay, so, you gotta arrange me in the meantime. I'll make sure... Oh, okay. Your privileges of... And you... Get the hell... Stay sharp. Yeah, so this isn't a stealth mission like some of them in the Ryujin one, but you're definitely going to be doing a little sneaking around. Most of the time, you're going to be in a uniform that gets you in and around the area. But yeah, we're not going to go in here. This isn't, this isn't a shooting gallery mission. So we're going to go straight down into the well to the second floor of the restaurant about midway through the well. And that's where we're going to meet Juan. She's right above us. We will just jump up top and have a conversation. And there's no persuasion in this. It's just dialogue. So Juan already makes a trip to this UC military installation on a regular basis. She's going to take us in there. There's nothing spectacular about that. She has a legitimate reason to be there. And we're going to sneak on board and go about our business. Before we leave here, we're going to run downstairs and pick up an evidence slate on Juan, in case we want to turn her in later. It is inside the kitchen area. So we have that option now. If we're going to side with Sistef at the end, we're going to want to turn all these things in. It's going to take her out as a pilot in the final battle. If we want to side with Crimson Fleet in the end, we're not going to turn this one in. We're just going to hang on to it. And we're just going to head out to the spaceport and if we need to drop anything off in our ship. If you don't have a companion or you don't want a companion, Good time to get rid of your companion at that point in time, and then head over to the Jade Swan. Zigzag around through her ship to get up to the top. That's not the way we want to go. Here, through this door. In through the cargo bay. And up one level to the bridge. Once we get to the bridge, we can actually loot the cargo bay and the captain's locker. I think you're still in range of your own ship from here, so you could theoretically loot all this and just transfer it back to your ship, or you could just take what you want or what you need. And we're going to have a conversation with Juan. He's basically just going to say, you're going to be a crew member, have a seat, and when you do so, we'll take off and fly there. When we get there, you're going to walk inside. Pretty simple. You're just not flying the ship. If you need to take care of anything before we... All right. Really, the only thing unusual about this mission is I'm not flying the ship. So I'm just going to grab a seat and they're going to take off and fly us there. So... 
all systems go. Kind of an interesting perspective. You don't see this that often. You can stand up and walk around. You could use this time to loot the, the captain's storage locker or the other locker. They don't seem to mind, oddly enough. Again, pirates. Don't worry about your personal ship. The fleet will make sure it's secure. You can take this time to prepare. Just try not to bother my pilot while they're... There's some fun dialogue with the pilot as well, if you're interested, but... Nobody. Eh, maybe I'll take a battle spin. And you will arrive at SY920 soon enough. Or you will be considered hostile. This is Captain Juan Dayu, cargo class ship ID UC7938, requesting permission to dock. Identity confirmed. Prepare your ship for scanning. You're clear to dock at docking bay two. Looks like we're clear. We'll talk more once we're docked. Hey. Once you arrive at SY920, you're going to enter through the airlock on this ship. Which means you're going to trace your path back downstairs and go out the back door. She's going to give you a lot of hints about how to go through this. You can follow along in the in the video and you'll see the way I go through it. I, I take a pretty short path through this, picking up just what I need in order to complete the mission, get the comm spike, and then be able to have some dialogue with some other NPCs afterward when we get back to the Vigilance. There's a lot of loot on this station. And if you have a companion with you and you really want to load up on things, you can you can spend quite a bit of time here. I don't believe you can come back after you complete this mission. So if you do want to loot here, you should do it while you're here. I am not going to do that as I go through. So we come over here and we find this UC cargo hauler. Oh, I thought he used to have a name. I don't remember. They talk about him. He has a name. I just, they don't identify him here. I've covered pretty much every inch of this place. He has lost his access key. If you talk to him and ask him where he looked last, parked right there. he'll tell you it's very close nearby, sitting on the edge of a forklift. This one right here. And you can't take it from behind the guy. He'll get upset. So you can just talk to him and send him away. Yeah, go talk to that guy. He really wants to talk to you about that money he owes you. Take the key. You can loot this area. I The only thing I grab through here are a couple of Digipix. Those aren't really necessary. I have a lot of them. But you will use Digipix throughout this run. We're down on the bottom floor. We'll have a quick conversation with Juan. She's basically going to tell us to find a key and open the door in front of us, but don't get caught walking through it. If, I'm not mistaken. if you are spotted going across the threshold of this door, they'll all lose their minds and attack you. I will crouch till I'm hidden. I have the key. Open the door. I always close the door behind me. I don't think that's necessary. <laughs> I just do it. We're going to turn right. We're going to come through this door into a kitchen area or a kitchen food storage area. Into the vents. Now we want to, we do not want to go up to that other vent. If we get too close to it, we can be spotted and we'll end up with everyone on alert chasing us. There's always a couple credits on the floor here. And I like to use Star Sense to make sure those guys are patrolling away. Just gonna walk straight through and into this first door on the right. These are all barracks areas, and I need this uniform. There are actually two of these uniforms in this area. You can pick them all up. I think you can put them on your crew members. I'm not sure. I've had some problems at times in the past I could, and then at times I've tried to give them to crew members and they weren't, they were quest items and I couldn't give them away for some reason. The second one is over on the right-hand side in that set of barracks. You can read the note. Eh, they had a dispute. And you can loot all this as well. 
while you're wearing the uniform, none of the guards in this area will stop you or even be concerned that you're robbing the place blind, oddly enough. So grab what you want. I'm not going to pick the safes. I've not found them to have anything really important in them. But there are safes and lockboxes everywhere. So we're just going to cruise on through this hallway. And I do try to avoid getting too close to the other NPCs in here, just in case they do have an issue with me and my uniform. I don't believe any of these guys will. I don't want to go through that door yet. I'll do a quick save over here because I'm going to pick the lock. And this is actually the third location for a uniform. And I think you probably need to have a uniform and be wearing it by this point in time or else one of these people is going to give you some grief but if you are trying to collect all three uniforms the third one is inside this room with a single guard and you have to sneak behind him and you can reach the uniform without him noticing and then you can walk away i will note if i have a companion with me at times the companion i think it's a bug can't make it through this security checkpoint, so I stopped bringing companions into this. Logging ensign level clear. But he'll let us through if we're wearing one of the ensign uniforms. Go downstairs. Head for the door. Gonna want to have a chat with Juan on the intercom. This is Captain Juan Dayu. Just checking in. Good. And no one found She'll tell us we're gonna need a clearance code. That's gonna be in the security room on the other side. Right. Oddly enough, this uh, Andresia dialogue choice is in the menu, and she's not even in this game with me. But there it is. Going down for now. Not yet. There's a slate on the table here, a little bit of backstory from one of the Marines on board. I, again, avoid the Marines, just kind of dodge around the corner, go to the right. Still ten minutes late. I do pick up all the meds and the chems. Inside this room, there's some more digipics. Another, this is a UC specialist slate. Digipick. And we're going to have to open up this particular terminal to get the security keys that match the uniforms that we've been picking up. So they have them sorted alphabetically. And really the issue is if you look at the uniform and the owner of the uniform, if it begins with an A, the security code is going to start with an A. If it begins with a Z, it's going to start with a Z and so on. So depending on which uniform you're wearing, you just need to know that security code. The good news is you can get it wrong and you can just walk away from the guards we're going to run into and walk right back up to them and they'll let you keep guessing until you get through. I don't think they ever give up on you, but I've, I've only messed it up once. This room back here will actually come out through this room at a later point. So we can come in here now and read all the terminals. It's worth looking at all the terminals on the station because there's some that trigger elements of quest and then there's some that just give you additional dialogue options later. So spend a second, read them, learn about the backstory. All the pieces will fit together at some point. Do not go into the cubicles that have UC Marines in them. There's another slate, a little more backstory. That one doesn't trigger anything spectacular. This one seems to always have this micro gun, which has a 40,000 credit value, face value, right? So worth four or 5,000, but it's really heavy. If you find yourself overloaded, you can always ditch it later. I don't loot this place extensively. Now that we have the codes, we can loot that. If you go through this door, there's a way to sneak across the next area on pipes in the top. But since we have the codes, we're just gonna go through the operations center hallway Clearance code, Marine. He's going to challenge us. All right, Ensign, let's hear it. Your clearance in a cup. In this room, we really don't want to go down and mess with the rest of the staff, but you can walk up here safely right behind her and read this terminal, which is interesting backstory. Talk 
talks about Vogel, talks about the previous administrator. You aren't assigned to this level, Ensign. You need to leave. In this office, you can go through the back door. You can pick up the credits, but you can open the safe. You can go through this door. There's more loot in there. I won't bother with that on this run. We're just going to walk down the other stairs. I like to check this table. Usually a little bit of ammunition. Go to the terminals. Check the stories. I don't know where I'm going. We're just going to go through the door here. This terminal is important. You can read about the other projects, but the one we really care about, of course, is the comm spike. When we go through the comm spike project, we will get our security clearance elevated. Once our security is upgraded, we'll be able to go down another set of elevators. Through this door. I check the box. There's usually something minor in here. This is just an open door computer. One option. No code. And now we're back in the cubicle office area that we were in earlier. So if you've already run around here and read everything and looked around, you're done. You don't really need to do anything. When you come back out here, you might see two NPCs passing through, these two women. They're having a conversation about projects. They're part of the, the leadership here. You just want to wait for them to pass by and go straight past them. No. The transport lifts that we couldn't get to earlier. We're going to go to Engineering Bay 4. There's a nice gun here. Oops, I didn't mean to sit down. Sometimes we just randomly sit because we were trying to pick up a credit stick. Oh well. Let's go downstairs. We're still wearing the Ensign's uniform that has gotten us this far. We're going to need, I think we're going to need to shift soon. We have an intercom. We're going to have another conversation with Captain Dayu. She's going to leave, which is fine. We can find a way off the station. It's not a problem. I'm a little surprised she says Crimson Fleet over the intercom. <laughs> Seems like... Seems like a security issue for us. You owe me a drink, lady. Right around this corner to the left is a scientist's outfit. We want to grab that and put it on immediately. That's going to give us free reign to the floor we're on right now. So now we can go in and out of all these labs and offices and nobody's going to care. Read everything here. You'll hear about Project Archangel. You'll hear about Alex Vong, who we will talk to on the Vigilance later. Kind of a sad story. I recommend reading it all. And there's a locked chest back here. There's some med supplies. I'm not going to pick any of those locks. I do pick up the loot, though. So yes. she's, not, she's not worth talking to. The second door is locked. But if we go to the third door, we can go through this conference room and go inside the second room. The engineers and scientists here have a bit of a bribe. And there we are. Well, I can tell you, but then I don't. There's another scientist outfit, which we don't need. I'm not going to open that locker, but I will pick up the loot that's available. Read the terminal, learn about the projects. And we'll open the vent over here. Drop down to the floor below us. And since we're in the scientists, since we're wearing the scientist uniform, no one really minds. We're in room number three on the floor below. Nice weapons and ammunition nearby. Weapon is randomized. There are two computer terminals in here. We want to read everything on them. Talk about pilot safety, talk about budget cuts, you get a little more of the backstory on the corruption that's going on. And 
I forgot. I should have done this earlier. We drop down here. If you actually go up a level, there's a bunch of little miscellaneous loot items. Not important, but yeah, if you want them, grab them. Anyway, back down to this lab, lab number three on the bottom floor. Yes. Do a little more looting. Credits and ammo. Then we go to this room, which has uh, an evidence slate that we want for Eubanks and Woods. Get me reinstated. And that's one you can turn in regardless of what decision you're going to make about Sistef and Crimson Fleet. Now, this room we're going to come back to in a second because this is how we get to Dr. Vogel and his lab. But before we do that, let's go through the vent. There's a pilot over there. I want to pick up this SY920 pilot pack and helmet and uniform. And I'm just going to put the uniform on. And just for the sake of being able to see it, I'm going to go ahead and show spacesuits in settlements with the T button. Pick up a little loot. I don't care about that helmet. You can have a conversation with the pilot over there, and he's kind of interesting. I don't believe it affects the outcome of the mission. There's nothing in here. Well, who's going to leave a juice box full of beer just sitting there? Kim's and meds, Kim's and meds. Okay, we're going to go back to Dr. Vogel. Let's drink some Merlot. Put on the Walter Stroud outfit. We are wearing the pilot's uniform, so we're still in disguise. We don't have to have the scientist uniform anymore. There's not much in here. There's a little bit of loot if you want it. You can pick up a gun. A little bit of ammunition. You can read the terminal. This terminal has the same content as the terminal in the room just behind the lab. We were just in it. So you can read it there. Status and updates. That's going to tell you to steal a key card. But our primary purpose is to talk to Dr. Vogel and convince him that we are the pilot he's been waiting for. Wait, who are you? I do recommend quick saving before this, especially if you don't have your persuasion up and you're not really loaded for that. It's attached to a proton. We still it can even interpolate. I do have security, so I use that when he gets a little excited talking about his research project. I don't know if that has an effect or shortcuts anything, but it's an option I always take. Not that we'd care of. And yes. And I tell him I'm a pilot. I love adventure. Yes. And he tells me I'm going to die. Well, he doesn't exactly say I'm going to die. Because they've mostly fixed all the problems, and not everybody dies when they fly his ship. I've requested a fool. They all give the prototype a final. I am not going to betray Juan. I'm going to go ahead and try to persuade him. Normally my requests aren't given this much attention. Let's go for the big one. That worked. Nice. It would have been nice if they kept. Now I can just pick one of the easier ones. True. And Commander Natara's checkpoints are very thorough. There you go. You've convinced you convince him he thinks you're the new test pilot, which means he gives you everything else you need to fly away in his pretty little ship. And of course, best of luck. You are doing science. I think this is the exact same update we just read on his terminal, so you can read it in there. You can read it back here. I don't know why he's walking around with a quest marker over his head, but we don't have anything else to do with him. Report. If we have cleared ourselves with Dr. Vogel, this guy is just going to wave us through. We're going to go up to that office that overlooks this entire area. 
There's a lot of loot around here if you're into that. A little bit of loot here. One of those lockers is locked. None of it has ever been really spectacular. A couple of cred sticks in here and a bottle of Chardonnay to replace the one we just drank. We're going to go to this terminal and we're just going to add ourselves as an authorized flight. Select project to add. Com spike. And now we are authorized to get in a ship and fly out of here and no one's going to care. Easy as that. Ships off to the right. I do check out this spacesuit and unlock this case and take whatever's inside of it. Sometimes it's good, sometimes not so much. That's not bad. It's not great. It's not bad. One guard, he's not going to say anything to it. Well, he'll talk to us, but he's not going to do anything about it. Just take all the loot that's nearby. Make sure you empty this chest. And the ship is yours. Go inside. You can walk around and loot this, or you can just jump in the cockpit and take off. I do usually loot the captain's locker. There's there's something in it. I don't recall ever seeing anything in the cargo hold, but you never know. There's always a first. Prototype ship, you are cleared for takeoff. We'll begin the test on your departure. Undock, throw your points in the grav drive, and head to the key. I think that took me 20 minutes total. Like I said, you can loot a lot of materials there and walk away with some pretty good stuff. If you've got a companion, somebody to help carry things, even better. I don't believe there are any magazines there, but if you know of any, let me know. Hey, Jazz, we brought you a ship. Back, Rook. Looks like you got a new toy for me. Go on in and give everyone the lowdown. We'll take care of things from here. We'll secure that ship. We're heading straight for the bar. We're going to find Juan because she owes us a drink. And because we didn't turn her in to the Sysdef guys, she's not going to be mad at us. If you do turn her in to the Sysdef people, it will chase her out of the system, and this will be a less pleasant conversation. I'm not even sure you'll get to have a conversation with her, but I do know we can. Nice to know Neva was right. I won't deny I helped. Anyway, I believe I owe you... Bob's Grog. I'm pretty sure I have four bottles of that stuff already, so... You're on board. I have to admit. Anyway, I've kept you long enough. Now that you've... And there's a Crixus slate behind her. Crixus interview. I thought I already picked that up, but... If it's there, pick it up. Resist the urge to go around and loot. I'm sure there's plenty of loot here again. We're going to go back up and find Delgado and Neva and turn this quest in. They're going to tell us that we did a great job and Neva's going to say some things that are semi-derogatory and they're going to hook us up with the next leg of the quest, which we won't be doing a little later. And then we have to go to the Vigilance. So the rest of this dialogue is just set up for the next mission. We're going to go to Neon and it'll pretty much be a stealth mission. We'll note at this point in time, you can add the comm spike to your ship. And if you are thinking about siding with Sysdef in the future, make sure you put it on as many ships as you want it on because you won't be able to come back later and get the comm spike. I don't think you can get the comm spike later. We're just going to fast travel to the Vigilance and go have the other side of this conversation with Akande and Lieutenant Toft. However, because of what we learned on the station, we can have this conversation with Alex. You guessed it, but I'm not just anybody. I don't like your confidence. And the 
just be sure you know. Long story. I eventually got recruited. Me and three other Arch. But I caught in a few favor. Yeah, it was. And you can prob- Yeah, I thought you might. I heard the- Even more impressive, you managed to do it without- That's more than I can say for myself, given- The official word as I was transferred back to Sistef because I was so bored on that station. When the time came for my test flight, I was so wasted, one of the others had to cover for- Bored and drunk. Bored and drunk. He's got a bad case of survivor's guilt. Is that right? I guess that lets me off the hook with the jailers, but not with the judge upstairs. Interesting religious reference there. I don't know if that's unique in the game, or if that's common for people in one of the uh, three primary belief systems. But the judge upstairs was an interesting comment, I thought. Anyway, let's go talk to Akande. The technology in the station would make the FCC at ease, soldier. It seems you had quite the eventful mission on your hands. Yes, it was very exciting. You still have the Crimson Fleet's trust, and you were able to spare lives in the process. Yes, I'm quite the professional, as I've been told. And on behalf of the United Colonies and Commander Natara, I thank you. But when you're with the pirates, say piratey things. When you're with the UC, say things that they like. Keep your options open. Yes, of course, Lieutenant. Time is... Please give me your report. Then it's just a matter of time before she reverse engineers it to fit the fleet's purposes. So what does Delgado have you doing next? The conduction grid? That's brilliant, but sorry, sir. The conduction grid is how Neon generates its power. It would take a hell of an engineer to modify the technology to handle Bannock 4 ZM field. That's the case. Inform our contacts on Neon that our operative will be touching down there. In the Absolutely, sir. And before you depart, I wanted you to know that your efforts are helping us gain interest among my superiors. They're finally beginning to believe that we can take down the Crimson Fleet and make amends for the UC's... Embarrassing mistake. Hmm, tell me more of this embarrassing mistake. The fact that our common enemy owes its existence to the United Colonies, of course. It was the riot at the lock touched off by Jasper Creeks that inspired him to create the Crimson... Thanks to your assistance... We know that part. We'll be able to rectify that... Of course I am. How about... a paycheck? I'll see what I can do. Excellent. Certainly... All right. I'll be looking forward to your next report. Anything new to report? Eh, 20k. Not bad. Remember to turn in any evidence. Good. The more you find, the stronger our case. Eubanks and Woods. Yeah, we'll turn that one in. 4,500. How deep does this well go? I'll send this to Matt. Any other fragments? No, nothing I'm turning into you right now. We're still thinking about it. Understood. Keep. That's a wrap for this one, I think. You can wander around the ship. You can go up to the brig and see if there's anybody there. But uh, we're going to call this one done. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. I really appreciate it. Remember, we cannot solve problems with the kind of thinking we employed when we came up with them. Learn as if you will live forever. Live like you will die tomorrow. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and get notifications. This is Kinnear, and I'm out of here.